Hello guys, in this video we are going to speak about Altair 4X multi gas detector and how to read and understand what display says to you, what checks to carry out before each use, how to carry out a bump or span gas calibration, how to adjust the device parameters and what gases you have to use for the calibration. The Altair 4X multi-gas detector can be equipped to detect combustible atmosphere and sometimes combustible vapors, oxygen diffusion or oxygen-rich atmosphere, and toxic gases for which a specific gas sensor is installed. A standard set will include a gas cylinder 0 0.25 liters a minute flow regulator a gas tubing and a calibration cup to switch on the device press the on off button briefly let's press it and see what is going to happen once it's pressed the manufacturer's name the product name the software version the running sensor discovery the type of combustible gas being detected, the measurement units chosen for toxic gas, the alarm set points for the low alarm, for the high alarm, short term exposure limit, workplace exposure limit, the calibration values, the current time and date, the date of the last calibration. Once you see a screen like this, it means that your device entered the normal operation mode. Here we can see the oxygen is 20.8%, the combustible gas 0, as well as the CO and H2S. So the first test you have to carry out before each use is the bump test. But the other thing, a really simple thing that you can do before bump test is to see whether the oxygen sensor is working right. And to do that, you just have to breathe out onto your device, like that, and see when the alarm is going to happen. So it's working. To stop the alarm, you will have to press this key. and the alarm is deactivated now. So now let's move to the bump test and see how it's done properly. So to carry out a bump test as well as a span gas test, you'll have to get a cylinder with a specific gas or gases inside. And to find out which gases in your cylinder, you just have to read it on the front, normally it's on the label. So for Altair for X, for span and uh, bump test, you'll need the following gases. Hydrogen sulfate, 20 ppm, carbon monoxide, 60 ppm, methane, 1 decimal 45% or 29% level, oxygen, 15%, and nitrogen in balance. You can see it here, right here. Once we have made sure that we have the right cylinder, the next step would be to connect the flow meter to the top of the cylinder like that. Once we connect the flow regulator with uh, tubing to the cylinder, we would need to connect the cup, the calibration cup, to the other end of the tubing. But doing the following thing. Now oh, it's a bit tricky, it's the most difficult part for me to be honest because <laughs> the hull is so tiny. And then you will have to raise the cup into the gas analyzer on the side below the screen, the side with buttons, just like, just like that, like that, yeah. Three sounds because there are three flaps here. Okay, once you have done it, you will go to the menu and you will have to choose the right setting. In that case, it's a bump test. Why would you need to do a bump test? 
bump test is just a quick confirmation that the sensors that are installed in this device are functioning correctly. How to carry out a bump test? You would have to press the triangle with the top down. You press once here, see it will uh, say bump test. Once it says so, you would have to make sure that the readings on the screen are matching the readings on the cylinder. Let's do the test now. To do the test, you need to have a browse by menu by pressing this key. Once you have found the bump test, you need to press the on off button briefly for selection. Once it's pressed, you will see the hourglass indication that means the device is ready for test. Once you see it, you will have to open the cylinder. This cylinder is open and you see how the parameters have been changed. Bump passed means the bump test is passed successfully. If sensors or one of the sensors is out of order, you will have to carry out a spun gas calibration. To access a spun gas calibration, you will have to press this key, press and hold it for some time, then release it, and you press it again to access spun gas calibration function, you press on OFF button briefly for selection. You open the cylinder and the same steps as before with a bump test must be repeated. The parameters have been changed. At some point you will see the spun test is passed on the screen. Spun passed. You close the cylinder and now you might disconnect the mask. To adjust the device parameters is only possible via the device setup. To access the device setup, you have to press and hold this key while the device is turning on. Let's do it. Now you enter the code mode. You have to select the standard code which is 672. The fastest way to do it is just again to press and hold that key. Wait until it gets to 672. Once you have 672 on your screen, you press on off button briefly and it says the code was OK. So you access the device chop. In this menu, you're able to adjust all the device parameters, such as the short-term exposure limit values, workplace exposure limit values, peaks and lows for alarms, the time and date, and other functions. Going via menu is possible, as in the normal mode, by operating these buttons here. For the selection you will have to press on off button. So it was a brief instruction how to use Altaya for X multi detector. Thank you for watching and I hope you found it useful.